Okay, so if your dryer is not working, and so basically, turn it on, push the button, nothing. This video is for informational purposes only. If you need a professional, contact Whirlpool directly. We got Thank power you. up the socket, I already checked that. So we have 220 volts at the socket, so that is not the issue. And now, we look down here, we see that this is the door switch. And that tang, the thing that sticks down and catches down here, is broken off. It does not catch there, it does not stick out so that when the door shuts, it activates that switch. That door has to shut and activate the switch. So that's the problem with this. And so there's two screws that hold that in place. You can pull it off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually epoxy a, an extension on this. I'll epoxy an extension to save this switch rather than buy a new one. Some of these switches have three terminals, which is for a light, and some of them have two. This one is a two terminal. And what I'll do is clean this edge up, and I'll just epoxy a longer leg on that to save the switch. Okay, so I epoxied a little tang extension there on that, and we'll see how long it lasts. And there's your repaired door switch right there.